Hey, what's good viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Doctor Strange, the real strange guy, does lots of strange magic, action figure from the Marvel Legends Infinite Series. And it comes with the Build-A-Figure Hulk. And that Hulk looks like it's going to be pretty massive. It's about time Hasbro did the massive Build-A-Figures again. Uh, you, as you can see, it comes with lots of other different figures in this set. I will be doing all of these reviews, so stay tuned for those. Anyways, let's open it up. So here's Doctor Strange out of package, of course. I got him with his little, I guess, power rings. I don't know. This is just effects to make it look like he's doing magic. I like it a lot. We got pink ones that came with, uh, why can't I think of her name right now? Scarlet Witch. We got pink ones that came with Scarlet Witch. They, he came with green ones. So I'm glad they changed that up because I don't think he would have looked too good with pink ones at all. <laughs> As we take a look at the paint apps and mold of Doctor Strange here, I really do like his face sculpt. Uh, the gray on the side of his head, you can see some black paint coming through. It's not horrible, but it's just typical Hasbro crap, which they've done a lot better. The hair sculpt looks pretty good, and again, you see some more black showing through. At least it doesn't. At least there's no skin tone coming through his uh, mustache or his eyebrows. His eyes are pretty well done. I got lucky in there. A lot of times those are messed up pretty bad. Overall body sculpt. I like the way they did his gauntlets right there as they go by. They got a weird texture to them. I've never seen that before in another figure. It's kind of weird. I like the way he did his hands and his little pose. Kind of almost like Spider-Man but not quite looking thing, you know. <laughs> I like those a lot anyways. I like the way it's kind of just a typical look for Doctor Strange hands. Paint on his chest looks alright. Not a lot of black showing through. Get a quick look at his belt buckle, uh, his little, I guess, skirt, we're going to call it a skirt, looks really well molded. I like the action to it, the way it's just swaying to the side. You can see here we see the belt right now. So everything looks really good, not a lot of paint mishaps, uh, they did the paint apps really well, no black showing through for the most part. And then we'll get a quick look here at his legs, see what kind of shoes he's got going on. Just a typical Bucky Cat mold here. Not a lot going on down there, but that's okay. It looks it looks really good. I love the design. This is probably going to be my favorite figure in the set. I'm already calling it. It's just really well done. Head articulation, he looks down that far. He looks up that far. He's got a great range of motion because there's nothing really there to uh, stop it from doing that. Uh, the neck joint is a little bit visible, kind of ugly, but oh well. It doesn't look bad if you have it in its normal position at all. His, his shoulders are both that high. You do the 360. Got a little bit of a ratchet joint, it sounds like. It almost sounds like a play arc sky joint. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, although it's kind of hindered a little bit by his gauntlets here. And then the wrist, look at the flick of the wrist, up and down, 360, ab crunch. Not a lot going on there, to be honest. I'm surprised he can't go look down more. But he can go back really far, as you can see. We got the swivel, upper thigh swivel. His legs will go up that high. They won't go back really at all because of his skirt blocking it. Double jointed knee here. Pretty good range of motion out of that. Looks like we got a calf swivel here. And then we got the ankle rockers and the ankle pivot. Overall, this is a really good figure. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Hasbro did a, did a really good job with this. My paint apps came out really well, just making sure you're checking out all the packages and making sure you're getting the one with the best paint apps and the best eyes. Mine has really good eyes on it and stuff, so no complaints there on my part. Uh, articulation was really good, some pretty basic stuff, but it worked out really well because he doesn't have a lot of armor or anything really restricting his articulation. Uh, the accessories that came with it are pretty sweet. I like those a lot. So overall, yeah, I'm going to recommend this. Hopefully you all can find this in stores because I'm thinking already that this is going to be my favorite one of the set so far. There is a Doctor Strange movie coming out within the next few years, so I'm sure someone like Figma or SH Figure Arts will hopefully get a hold of this and make us a cool Doctor Strange figure. But until then, this will definitely uh, do the job because this is a really great figure. And uh, even if when those do come out, and maybe you don't like the design, this will definitely still be a great figure even until then. Other than that, that's all I got for today. Make sure you check out Big Bad Toy Store. You can get this there and the other complete the set to build your whole Hulk Buster. Uh, keep on watching my reviews. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day. Later.